as you may know i love my makeup obviously look at this face this face without makeup is not pretty once again excuse my pajamas i am gonna get dressed just because i've got to go out i find a lot of makeup brands can be quite pricey so i wanted to do a quick gothic makeup look like an everyday casual look for under 10 quid so let's crack on with this the main bulk of my money has gone on my foundation i'm gonna use l'oreal infallible brush foundation this cost me five pounds but if you are a budget try mua foundation i believe it's about four quid you can get it for super dry and it's fantastic look that's half my budget gone already So that's my foundation done. Look, pretty, pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty, pretty easy. I would usually probably use a beauty blender to blend it all together, but since that's not in my budget today, I'm gonna use my fingers. If you just get like your two fingers and like pat your makeup, I find anyway, it kind of smudges it together. I don't know, I find it helps. So eyebrows, for my eyebrows, I have bought some MUA eyeshadow in the shade Cuter. Now I've been wearing this like, every day i love it i love it so much i've been obviously using it as eyeshadow but i'm gonna use it for my eyebrows for this tutorial and i have a 17 brush i kind of cheated because this brush is not included in my 10 poundness but it was pretty cheap anyway but we'll just pretend that i'm not using it <laughs> i'm gonna go from the bottom of the start of my brow and cross over to the top of the other half of my brow if that makes any sense kind of going diagonally Gives my eyebrows that kind of Disney villain look that I like to go for. And then I'll just join them up and blend it in. It's hard to do with one shade. When I do my eyebrows, I have two shades. I have like a darker one that I do the outline with and then a lighter one which I fill them in with. Yeah, we go. Disney brows. Next I'm going to use this eyeshadow again and I'm going to use my finger. I find it works better with your finger to get like a smoky look. I'm going to start off with the outer eyelid and just kind of pat my way in into the centre so it starts with dark and it gets a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to use a clean finger just to smudge that and blend that out a little bit. And again with the other eyelid. So what am I up to so far? Is that six pounds? Six pounds that I've done my eyebrows, my foundation, and half my eyes. That's pretty good. So next I'm gonna do some liquid eyeliner. Now this is a pound from Just Essentials. It's, it might even be 99p, I think it's a pound. It's just a plain black liquid eyeliner. I find the brush is like slightly rougher than normal liquid eyeliner brushes. And I'm just gonna do my normal kind of cat eye look that I do pretty much every day because I like it. Just kind of brings out that eyeshadow a little bit too. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like round eight. Still waiting for my eyes to dry. <laughs> So eight pound. Next, I'm gonna use some Volume Boost Mascara. Now this is one pound in Primark. This is, it's it's all right, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you it's great, it's not great. It will make your eyelashes black. It won't make them long or thick or anything. It will literally just make them black. Does anyone else like absolutely have to have their mouth wide open while they do their mascara? It's like, if I don't have my mouth open, I feel like it's not gonna go right. <laughs> so I'm up to eight pound now. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I can't see. For the last two pound, I'm gonna use this eyeliner felt pen. This was from Primark. I believe it was 150. I'm really, really into black lipstick at the moment. I really want to try a uh, Jeffree Star Weirdo. If any of you have tried it, let me know if it's worth the money because it's quite expensive. This is a felt tip eyeliner pen. Now, guys, warning, I have no idea if this is safe to use on your lips. I do use it on my lips. Um, it, it may be killing me, I don't know. But it's 150 from Primark and it's pretty damn good. It does dry out pretty quickly, so you have to kind of store it, tip down, just to keep the product at the tip. I'm gonna use this to outline my lips and then just color a bit.
Last but not least, I'm gonna go back in with my MUA Pewter Eyeshadow and I'm just gonna dab that on with my finger again just to give my lips a little bit of metallic goodness. And I'm only gonna put it in the center of the top and the bottom lip. So that's my makeup done. Let's put some nice clothes on. Ta-da! So that's my finished look of complete with accessories. What do you guys think? Not too bad for under 10 quid. £9.50 to be precise. I really like these lips. I'm definitely gonna wear this out. So this was quite a bit of fun. 9.50, like my lipstick usually costs me a tenner. So I'm definitely gonna try cheaper makeup more often. MUA is definitely one of my favorite cheaper brands. MUA and Makeup Revolution, they are both fantastic. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the little booby family. And I'll be back very soon with another video. Love you guys. Bye.